New World has released a spicy new public test realm and the new Void Gauntlet for testing. This is a DPS and support hybrid weapon, which looks pretty sick. And today we're going to break down this weapon. So let's go. Hey, this video was sponsored by my Twitter. I have a giveaway running right now for this keyboard on my Twitter. Go check that out. Link will be in the description down below. Let's go. The Void Gauntlet is a magic weapon, kind of like the Ice Gauntlet, except it stacks primarily with intelligence and focus secondarily. So it's the first weapon that stacks with intelligence and focus, and it's only the second weapon that stacks with focus, with the Life Staff being the other. The weapon has two weapon mastery trees, like all of the other weapons as well. An interesting thing to note with the Void Gauntlet is when you hold your right click, it drains your health to regen your stamina. Most of the abilities and passives don't really generate much mana for for you and this is how you get it back by trading in some of that health. Now we'll start off looking at the Weapon Mastery DPS line Annihilation and the first ability here is Vorpal Blade which turns your gauntlet into like a melee weapon kind of like the Halo Blade. Your left clicks will then just be a melee left click and your right click won't actually drain your health, it will actually be a block. It lasts about 11 seconds or so and it's a decent ability, it does a decent amount of damage from what I have seen so far. The next is Petrifying Scream and this is a like AoE in front of you. It will root any of the targets that it hits. It will also grant you Fortify. And it's just a decent AoE kind of cone in front of you. It does a, a okay amount of damage from what I've seen. Oblivion is the next ability. And it is a circle AoE that is kind of around you. A little bit like that uh, Fire Staff ability Incinerate, I think it is. And what it does is a damage over time effect. Avoid damage to the targets that it does hit. The passives in the Annihilation line are really based around cooldown reduction and critical hit chance and those kind of things. There's nothing in this line that will give you mana regen. It's just worth pointing that out. So if you do want to pick something that will give you mana regen, there's a couple of points that you can get early on in Decay that you can pick up for fer fervent, fervent, thirst, <laughs> however you say that word, will give you some mana back with your light attacks. So there is some mana regen that you can get from the other line, but there's nothing in this line line specifically. And the next line is the Decay Support line, which is primarily based around healing and dealing a little bit of damage. And it's a bit more damage focused than say the Life Staff healing lines, but there are some interesting abilities here. And the first one is Baneful Tether. And what this does is tether you to a target that you decide to hit it on. It will weaken that target and grant you Empower. Once you have upgraded this ability as well, it will also give you Mana Regen, like 100% Mana Regen while the Tether is active, as well as heal you or anything around the target when it does die. So once you do kill the tether target, you'll get some health back as well. The next ability is Orb of Decay. And this is basically Moira's healing orb from Overwatch. Um, I, I think there's a lot of Overwatch inspiration in this game. Like we've got May's Ice Tomb and then now we've got Moira's healing orb. And basically what this does is you shoot this out in front of you. It will be a damage orb. Initially, it will hit targets in front of you. It can't be blocked. And once it gets to its maximum distance, it'll bounce back towards you as a healing orb and heal anything that gets in its path. The Essence Rupture is the third ability in the decay line and this will heal anyone who hits the target that you have put the rupture onto so you hit an enemy with this and when they attack that enemy they will get health back the passives in the decay line are based around decreasing mana cost as well as upgrading your healing and that kind of thing nothing too drastic to stand out here my initial impressions with the Void Gauntlet are it's an interesting weapon and you know I think there's going to be some cool builds you'll be able to build with it. I can already see maybe doing like a melee intelligence build with a rapier as the secondary weapon. You could probably fit something in there and I think the weapon's really going to be solidified as the secondary for healing with the Baneful Tether, the Orb of Decay and Essence Rupture. I think it's really going to fit right next to the Life Staff as a secondary healing weapon because it's a unique weapon. It's got some really cool benefits benefits to it compared to Ice Gauntlet or even some of the melee weapons that you can match with the Life Staff because it does stack with focus as well and it just makes that build fit a little bit nicer whereas we haven't had anything that directly stacks with the Life Staff yet so it's nice to have something here. And those are my initial impressions for the Void Gauntlet. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about the Gauntlet. I'll try and answer them for you or anything else about the public test server. Go and check out that giveaway as mentioned in the description down below. Thank you to you for watching this video to the end. Thank you to our members for supporting this channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.